Thank you, Madam Mayor, Vice Mayor, Council Members. I'm privileged to be here today. My name is George Barlow. I'm an analyst here at uh, City Hall in the Administration Department uh, to present the uh, Digital Front Door team. Uh, so maybe a first question is, is why do we call it Digital Front Door? Uh, if we look at our uh, front doors that we have at City Hall and our population that we have here within the city, we actually reach more people digitally on the web than we do through our front doors here right at City Hall. So we put together a team called the Digital Front Door Team. And that team is comprised of every department. We have at least one individual within every department uh, on the team. And that team is really put together for a mission. And our mission is really to take that digital information, enhance that information, and that approach to our uh, citizens and really be able to communicate and improve communication uh, through the web or in a digital interface. Um, when, we, when we approach this, we really want to enhance how we do it. So we want that dual communication, uh, not only one way from us to our citizens, but also our citizens back to the city. 2017 accomplishments, uh, website analytics. Uh, 2017, we really started really diving into our website and looking at how, how does our website uh, interface with the public? How does our public approach our website? And one way to do that is through things like Google Analytics to check out and see exactly which pages are being approached, uh, how the citizens are approaching maybe animal services or police services or uh, anything within City Hall itself. Uh, so we want to look at those things we have, uh, and we looked at the accessibility, the speed of the website. Is it too slow? Uh, are there particular things on there that aren't interesting? And because someone may go to a particular page, like our home page, how much information is put on our home page versus other pages that we have? Uh, improved page content, and actually that brand, that imaging that we're, we're putting out there. If we take a look at our website, uh, the approach, how someone may actually look at various services and how does our, our homepage interact that way? Can people access every single service on our homepage? And our homepage uh, does do that. You can go to every single service the city establishes by the homepage. Um, and make sure that it's interactive, uh, like this. We have uh, our community service award. You can click on it and brings up a uh, award nomination for our community service award. <clears throat> Last month, we uh, did a Easter egg hunt on our website. So we actually embedded little eggs on our website, various locations, put it out on Facebook. This is our Facebook post. And uh, what it did, gave people a link to our, our homepage. They would hunt around for various eggs. And it really became interactive uh, with our citizens. We had actually 340 entries into our Easter egg hunt. But what's amazing is that our webpage hits are about 2,500 per day. When we did this, we were up to about 8,900 per day. Uh, so by having people go to various spots, they really learned how to interact in our site. And we got a lot of comments on Facebook uh, saying, very good, hey, I found something that I, I didn't know was there. So it really gave good information. YC311, uh, just about 5,000 users uh, on the app. If you haven't downloaded the app, please do so. It really helps out our citizens and it helps out us as the service providers. So you can do a graffiti 
Uh, if you see graffiti, actually take a picture, put it on the uh, YC31 re report. Uh, if you see uh, things like potholes or uh, a shopping cart out there, you can report those as well. What's neat about the YC31 app is that we looked at how can we enhance it? What can we do to provide other services on the app? If you look at the app face on the left-hand side there, you can actually pay a bill. So you can pay your water bill right from that app. If you're looking for a job, you can actually go to the job center uh, right from that app. So additional services in one app. Facebook. At the end of 2016, we had 8,700 followers. At the end of 2017, we had over 15,000 followers. Now, why am I mentioning this? If we look at cities about our size, cities about our size have anywhere from 63 to about 8,700 followers on their Facebook. So 15,000 is a big deal because it's a different way that we can actually communicate. Uh, now people say Facebook is for us baby boomers. <laughs> it's not uh, for the younger crowd any longer. But uh, amazing that uh, we have that reach, that capability to communicate back and forth with uh, users. This is one way we did it. A poll. You can actually do polls on Facebook. Since May is bike month, I actually did a poll two hours before uh, I came in here, put it on Facebook. Uh, the question is, May is bike month. Will you be riding your bike? Yes or no? 27% said yes. 73% said no. <laughs> out of 11 votes. <laughs> so as you see there, 354 people reached from that <laughs> post, and that's only about a two-hour span. But different ways like this, we can actually communicate with citizens. Citizens can actually communicate back with us as well. Why, why connect uh, our newsletter, monthly newsletter that we actually send out? Uh, we reach 14,000 emails with this newsletter. Newsletter content is like a blog content that has various services that Yuba City provides and information, things that are actually happening within the city. Uh, we have about 38% open rate, meaning that about 5,000 uh, folks actually open up that email and read that email. Now, if we're taking a look at statistics, when you actually send out emails, about 12% of people generally will open up an email. So 38%, very good percentage on actually open rate. Our goals, continue improvements. We really wanna enhance our website so the interface is really engaging with folks, a little bit better than even today. Uh, our innovative approach to our public engagement, um, there's many different formats out there that we can actually utilize, but the driving force is actually our website. If we look at our website, then it goes out to other social media sources and those type of platforms as well. But our single most activity and engagement is our website. Um, we. This year, we want to do uh, put in three different media platforms. One is Snapchat. So I mentioned just a minute ago, Facebook is getting old. Snapchat mm -hmm. is the new thing. So we want to reach all tif different types of demographics within our website, our, our media, and our approach to social media. So Snapchat is one of those. Cinemark is another one. Actually getting into the movies has been a, a new approach, a good approach. Uh, not for some, but for us, it has been new. So we wanna do more of that. Get into uh, where you have a, a single set audience to promote different services that we have here at the city. Uh, and produce uh, council recap videos. Not saying that council meetings are boring. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd get more of a laugh out of that. <laughs> But really, 
bringing in a recap of the council meeting. So it's only about a two minute recap of recapping everything that went on during that, that particular council meeting. And it gives that audience that small chip of information so that it engages them what's happening in, in our council meetings. And uh, produce multiple short type videos so that it engages with the city on things that we do, like this one. Just hit Brett. Me. Welcome to the Yuba City Police and Fire Communication Center. Tanya Smalley with the Yuba City Police and Fire Communication Center. 911 is for life and death emergencies only. 911, what is your emergency? You want to order a pizza? Such <laughs> as medical aids, crimes in progress, fire, or the threat of. Yes, 911 emergency. I've got fire and rescue on the way. Are you right next to the station? I'm going to give you instructions on how to do CPR. 9-1 emergency. How many shots did you hear? If you do not have an emergency, the number you should know is 822-4660. So a short little video uh, engaging the audience on services that we provide. Katie Goodson and Elliot Peters, who are on our team, uh, produce this. So something neat, something short, maybe something that, uh, that our citizens don't understand that we might do here at the city, or good information like this. And then um, last month, we had our first uh, award of our Community Service Award. It was Jill Dittmer. Uh, she was our, our first uh, Community Service Award recipient uh, through the Digital Front Door uh, team. We actually received these nominations. Uh, we put this out on Facebook. It's on, like I showed you, our homepage. And uh, what it does is really uh, emphasize those individuals that really uh, contribute to the quality of life here in Yuba City. Uh, so anybody can nominate those individuals based on criteria and submit those to the, to the team. Uh, the team, once a quarter, chooses that individual based on the criteria, and we present it to that individual to council. Any questions? Thank you, George. Any questions, any comments? That was great, thank you very much.